Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be presenting you our soup, Jemu. This vibrant pumpkin soup is what every Haitian home cooks on January the 1st. This thick and hearty soup jomu is a reminder of Haiti's independence. Let's prepare this together. Come on, let's go. Here are the ingredients you will need to prepare this delicious soup jomu. Your base ingredient, of course, is pumpkin, celery, cabbage, potato, tanya, turnip, carrot, banana, spaghetti, macaroni, stew beef. The stew beef is already seasoned and marinated. If you would like to learn how to season and marinate your meat, please check the videos below. I prefer to pressure cook the beef. The beef at times may be difficult to cook, so it's easier to just pressure cook your beef. So we go ahead and put it in, add some water, cover it, and let it cook. Presenting the star of our meal. The pumpkin, of course. We have here the pumpkin butternut squash. If you're making soup jumu, there are certain ingredients you definitely need. My mom always reminds me that as a Haitian woman, whenever you're cooking pumpkin soup, soup jumu, you need these base ingredients, which are pumpkin, celery, cabbage, carrot, potato, turnip, and tanya. If you don't have these core ingredients, you might as well take that soup and throw it away. <laughs> All vegetables have been peeled and we are putting them in some water. The reason why I do this is because it will get black if you don't put it in water as you wait. So here we have our banana, potato, turnip, tanya, carrots. They're all going in the water. Here, I am chopping up our celery. And while I'm chopping up my celery, I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for your support. And if you're new here to this channel, I would like to tell you, welcome, feel at home. Please, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, my loves? The cabbage have been chopped into chunks. As to not chop it too thin, also will completely dissolve in the soup. Okay, let us check up on our pumpkin. It's almost ready. Now, I will be removing the pumpkin from the water in order to blend it. And I'll also be taking out some water to put in the blender. Now, in the same water that the pumpkin was boiled in, we will be adding in our celery and also all of the vegetables. I would like to take this moment to greet all of our Creole speaking listeners. We have a translated Creole version of this exact video. Bonjour, bonsoir tout le monde qui attendait, me dépend de qui le attendait moi. Pour pi bien assister, moi gagne même vidéo ça en créole sur channel là. Passez visiter channel là et tout abonner. Subscribe, like, comment. Merci chouchou. Now we give it a gentle mix as you can see it's in the same pumpkin water. Now I will be blending the pumpkin along with the water that I took. If you don't have a blender, you can use a strainer along with the back of a spoon. You simply put the pumpkin in the strainer, press it down with the back of the spoon and dilute it with some of that water. You will get basically the same consistency. Now add that puree right into the boiling pot. Next, we will be adding a herb bouquet consisting of parsley and thyme. 
this is a hot pepper with cloves attached. And of course, not forgetting our famous Haitian apis. If you would like to learn how to make Haitian apis, please visit the channel's playlist. Adding one Maggi cube. Here I'm adding a pinch of salt. I'm not adding in too much salt because remember we also have our stew beef that is fully seasoned. Okay my dear, there you have it. Here is our stew beef fully cooked, soft and tender to the touch. I will be removing the stew beef from the broth. That broth will be added into the pumpkin soup. The stew beef will be added in last. If I put it in right now, it will lose all of that flavoring. Now we add our spaghetti, macaroni, and lastly our cabbage. Those ingredients are added in last because they're easier to cook and easier to break. Finally, we add one spoon of butter. Now we go ahead and gently stir it. Gently give it a mix. It's time now to remove the herb bouquet and also the hot pepper. Our soup jumu is fully cooked. Now we will add in our stew beef. There you have it. I present to you our beautiful bowl of soup jumu. This vibrant pumpkin soup is what every Haitian home cooks on the 1st of January. This thick and hearty soup jumu is a celebration of Haiti's Independence Day. I hope this video was very informative to you and I hope you do try out this recipe. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.